address uh, acidic and basic uh, conditions. And usually, like the first thing you learn about acidic and basic uh, liquids is uh, how would you tell, or what, what's a good measure of if something's a uh, acid or a base? pH. So pH, right? You learned about the pH very early on, okay? So we're going to learn about that, and we're going to use it quite a bit. All right? So what is, what's the pH of a neutral solution? 7.0. 7. So everybody knows that. Have you ever thought about why it's 7? Because it's pH of water. Because it's pH of water? Okay, so why is water pH 7? Because it is infoteric, you're on the right track, okay? And so here's what happens, okay? And this is why it's 7. All right, so if you look in your water, I swear this is water. It's only Thursday, okay? If you look in your water, every once in a while, it's actually dark in there, I can't see. Okay, but, so you have colorless, you'll be able to see. Every once in a while, you'll see two water molecules bump into each other, okay? <laughs> so those two water molecules will bump into each other and actually ionize themselves, and so we call this the auto-ionization of water. And they will create H3O+, plus, so one will donate a proton, and one will accept it, and they'll make H3O+, plus and um, hydroxide. So this is going on in your water right now, bumping into each other making hydronium and hydroxide. Every once in a while, that hydronium and hydroxide bump back into each other and make two water molecules. Okay. So it turns out this is, uh, it sets up equilibrium because it goes back and forth. All right. And it turns out that at uh, 25 degrees Celsius, so room temperature, yeah, it's a little warmer here. Okay. Uh, the equilibrium constant for it is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. It's small. Yeah, it's small. It doesn't, it doesn't happen often, so you might have to look at your water for a little while. Okay, you might not see it right away. It's still dark in there. Okay. Now, we could figure out how much hydronium and hydroxide we have. <coughs> All right, actually, before we do that, this is a really important uh, equilibrium constant, okay? It's a really special, it's for the auto-ionization of water, which leads us to a lot of properties of acids and bases. We have, it has its own subscript. We call it the KW, okay? Auto-ionization constant for water, KW. All right. And we could even write out the equilibrium constant expression for this, okay? So Kw equals products H3O plus times hydroxide all over water squared. No, no, shouldn't do that. Why should I do that? It's liquid, yeah. So, so that's it. Hydronium times hydroxide, that's my Kw. And if we know the Kw, we can figure out the equilibrium concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide. All we'll have to do is set up our handy dandy ice table. Ice, ice baby. Now truthful, okay, let's be truthful with each other. And does any, now you can be honest, okay, we won't, no, no uh, judging, this is a no judgment zone. Do any of you not know who I'm talking about? Vanilla Ice. Okay, you can be honest. Because we'll play the video if we need to. Okay. Okay, we do need to. All right, we will. You know he lives in South Florida? Yeah, he does. Like, West Palm Beach area. Okay. Mm -hmm. He got into a couple of troubles. I saw him on the news about a year ago. <laughs> hey, it's Vanilla Ice! I don't know if he makes music. He had a like a flip in the house show on like HGTV a while ago. I don't know if that's still going on. What's that? It was whack. It was whack? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't good. That means it wasn't good. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so that's what he actually got in trouble for. I think it was for a show like 
He was like stealing materials for something, or allegedly. The Iceman would never do that, okay? You know, he got some, cops got some bad info. Iceman wouldn't do that, all right? All right, so my initial concentrations, well, for the water, we don't really care about because they're not in my equilibrium constant expression, right? So mm -hmm. don't have to worry about them. And then initially, before my water molecules started bumping into each other, what is the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide? Zero, yeah, so we can write zero. Okay, still don't care about water, so we'll just write dashes all the way down. <coughs> now, after water starts bumping into each other, what's going to happen to the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide? Is it going to go up or going to go down? It's going to go up. I don't know how much, though, do I? That's what I'm going to figure out. So let's put in plus x, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so x on both sides, or um, for both lines. Mm -hmm. And then what's zero plus x? x? X. And so this is my equilibrium line. I'm just going to plug those in there. So I got kW equals x times x, so we'll call that x squared. Then if I want to solve for x, I'll just take the square root of both sides. So square root of kw equals the square root of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. And so what do we get when we take the square root of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th? 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7, thank you. All right, and so that is both the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide. But it turns out that I am uh, pretty much just interested in the hydronium because that is what pH is. The, co the calculation for pH is, is pH equals the negative log of the hydronium. Or H plus if you use Arrhenius. So again, they're interchangeable. Okay. And so this is my concentration, 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh molar. And so, what is the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th? I ran out of room, so I'm going to have to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? 7? Yep. pH equals 7. And that's what we said the pH of water was, right? Yeah, so that is why uh, pH equals 7 for water, because the uh, uh, water is amphoteric. So when they bump into each other, somebody acts like an acid, somebody acts like a base. And so we've got a concentration of H3O plus that equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7th, because the equilibrium constant happens to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. That's just how nature worked out that it came out to be 7. Okay. I mean, could have been 6, could have been 5, if that was 1.0 times 10 to negative 6, or 1.0 times 10 to negative 5. All right. <coughs> so yeah, this is what we're going to start to use to talk about our acids or bases in solution, the pH uh, of the solution, which is the negative log of the hydronium, 